John Dickinson High School has been through a transformational model. One of the areas of our, our changeover over the last several years has been to have a stronger outreach to our students, to break it down to individualized learning. About four years ago, uh, Dickinson High School was considered a dropout factory high school. That is no longer the case. In the last two years, uh, Dickinson High School have reduced the number of drop dropouts dramatically, and a lot of that has to do to the work of Mr. Page. Ronnell Page is a pretty extraordinary guy. He really is a jack of all trades with the students. You can count on him to be um, very engaged and passionate with the students. I mean, the, the rapport and the bond that he has with them is, is extraordinary. He works with some of the kids that are really toughest to work with and in a way that is, um, that is unique in my experience. You know, students spend 70% of their time outside of the school building. That's where they learn. That's where they get their habits. That's where their makeup comes from. And for us as staff or teachers or administrators to think that we can change a kid's makeup in seven and a half hours on a school day is, I believe, ridiculous. So if you can go into their community where they're learning all this stuff from and touch those people that actually are the decision makers or the people who are educating these students, maybe you'll have a greater impact. We have lots of kids that walk through the front door um, with a wall up saying that you know school officials aren't the people that are going to help. In a big way, Ronnell Page has taken that wall down. A lot of times, you know, parents had a bad deal, so they deal their children a bad deal. And I'm trying to break that and show students that you can be different than what you come from. When I was in when I was in ninth grade, I was getting F's and D's. But now that I came back, Mr. Page got me on track on the road. He know our situations because he didn't been through them. So it's like when you're talking to him, he know, he, when you're talking to Mr. Pace, he know what to say back to you. He's a role model. He keeps us on track and I can say that he's done a good job at it because thanks to him I've been on the right road and I can say I'm going to graduate thanks to him. Like he's my motivation basically. Like if I do something right, I'll hear like a, I'm proud of you from Mr. Page. I would say School of Hard Knocks is what prepared me for a community in schools. You know, all the stuff I've been through in the community, all the things I've seen, all the things that our kids are dealing with, I know personally. So when I'm speaking to them, I'm not speaking to them based on what I hear, what I read in the book. I know it. I know what it feels like. If the admin does not know their community, they do not know their school. So community schools is that vehicle that brings the community into the school so that the admin can do their job to the best of their ability. The oftenest you can go into the community to, to find out what's going on. You know, put your ear to the street. Meet the people that matter to these kids then you can have a real conversation with them. You know, listen, not to say that the ultimate goal is for these kids to do anything for you, to follow you to the end of the world, but for you to be able to stop them from making a mistake in a school that can change their life forever, to motivate them to try their best when they would have only given a half effort, to push them to continue and graduate high school versus dropping out. I mean, think about the impact that can have on their local community and overall our community.